What's up, it's Mega Snake. So, uh, I bring you guys here today to uh, watch and play a gameplay of a tank testing. So, I got this one off the Android app, and it is basically a modern day tank uh, simulated uh, game. So, the thing I like about this game, because I mean, I like to give you a little review of this game uh, as, you know, as I'm really starting out. I don't have much time with it. about this game that is still like wow the heck that I can even preview all these you can preview some of these vehicles uh, so you can see exactly uh, what they what they look like uh, on, the, on the battlefield and you know when you're in your shop so one of the first things I like to point out is that the graphics design of the vehicles they look pretty clean I like them I don't know why vehicles are real nice look at that this one this this first vehicle you get uh, in the NATO pack and uh, this is where you start out at and you have to actually uh, get do some research basically upgrade your vehicle you got to upgrade either the chassis the gun uh, just the crew safety the charging radar and radio if you uh, communicate with other, if you communicate with people, so you could basically have a clan in here, and you guys can get on a radio uh, connection, which is pretty neat. Uh, I myself am not in a clan, so I'm kind of on my own. And uh, what I have here is I have a tank called the T95. I just upgraded from the T48 Patton over here that I got. So I upgraded to this tank here. Now this tank right here is a bit of beast other than it's got low damage but he still looks good. Look at that. I mean this is an American tank right here. It looks real neat, it looks real nice, huh? You can look at tank right here, man. I would like to upgrade right now. Uh, maybe put a chassis on or maybe do something with this gun, but uh, we won't go very far with it now. Anyways, let's uh let's take it for a spin. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Oh, uh, let's talk about the gameplay really. Um, this particular game has a capture the flag, uh, point control, uh, team deathmatch, and uh, what's that called? Free for all. So I enjoy the free for all. I think the free for all is awesome. I, I enjoy the deathmatch. I think the deathmatch is real good. Uh, the maps are, are huge. The maps are huge. Um, I believe this one is a team deathmatch. Yeah, team deathmatch. And so the thing about this game is the matches are very long. But uh, but in team deathmatch it's okay because. Uh, basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to get, I mean, trying to get points, you know, you're trying to get, uh, upgrades so you can upgrade your vehicle. It's a bit cumbersome to upgrade, but, uh, if you just keep playing the death matches, you'll get, you'll like it. There's other modes on here, like capture the flag. You can make a lot of, uh, money and experience doing the flags. 
uh, doing capture the flag or point control. They seem to pay the most uh, because you, you do a lot of, you have to always have a point and then you always have to be killing somebody, always fighting with somebody. Uh, this particular tank, like I said, the graphics on these tanks are nice. I like the I like the battlefields and everything, and everything such as that. So I really don't think I want them to change anything on the graphics. I mean, and the design of the tanks, uh, nor on the on the camos. I, I like the camos. I hope they make some more camos. Uh, the only downside is is you know maybe they should probably do maybe a I don't know maybe they should probably do maybe a uh, you know, like a last man standing, you know, basically, uh, uh, you know, you'll, uh, you'll fight, but like, you know, when you die, that's it, you're out of the game, you have to wait for the next round, you know. Uh, I hope they kind of, they might, they hope they do that eventually. Um, for, but for right now, that the team deathmatch and, and whatnot, those are the best ones. Again, this is a 13-minute match, so it's going to be quite a long, long, long minute. Uh, as you see, the even the that's a sniper mode. I shot just over him. I shot just under him. Now you have to kind of give the gun just a little bit of little bit of a minute to uh, calibrate itself so that the bullet actually goes where you pointed out as you can see the tanks a the tanks just getting one step closer to being a beast you know hit him and and there's other things about this game too like there's other kind of rounds in the game like you could buy uh, other kind of rounds for certain certain tanks have certain rounds like the American tanks, they have, you know, they have their uh, armor piercer, and they have their uh, anti-tank round, and then they have their high explosive round. And then you got uh, other countries. Uh, I know Russia has a, uh, they have a heat, a uh, high explosive round. And that particular round is pretty tough when it comes out of that Russian tank, man. That That, that thing, like, Virtually just puts out a lot of power. See, I gotta hit this guy. Look how far this guy is. That is some serious. I'm not gonna win that fight from here. Uh, let me see what else. Well, as you can see, I'm kind of trying to go try to get around this guy, get up there on that hill, cause he was being a little bit of a sniper, you know. I just got around the tail end. I won't get, I won't get him there that time. Still, the advantage is his out here. As you can see, I'm trying to get around this guy. See, this particular tank is an IS, an, an IS, it's an, an old version of a Russian tank. Still pretty tough. Uh, it's got good armor. See, it's got that. Oh, look at that. Oh, and plus you can get airstrikes on here. There's like these little crates on the ground that have uh, wrenches, and then they have uh, helicopters, and then they have jets that just come down. And as you can see, a jet came down here, but he had already moved locations. Me and uh, this this guy, I just I'm just I'm just too OP for him. I'm just too powerful for him. I mean. My upgrade is like an upgrade higher than his. That guy's on my team and he's over here shooting at me. Uh, so anyways, look at the tank. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, this thing is just, it's awesome looking. Look at that. I mean, graphics look good. The battlefield looks good. The hol even, even the air support, look at that. Even the air support looks awesome. Now this particular game says it's based in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. So whoever these guys are, they're uh, supposedly they're they're based out of Las Vegas, Nevada. They're, I mean, I think I think they got it. I think they made a real nice game here. I think this game is going to. Uh, I think this game could could become something, you know. 
uh, it needs a few, I mean, the tweaks it needs is basically just in the gameplay, I mean, just maybe different, a few more different gameplays, uh, and maybe an easier, uh, easier progression, like easier upgrade, let, upgrade easier, make a little more, make it a little easier to upgrade, because, uh, you know, it takes a minute to upgrade, I mean, you have to fight a lot of battles, I mean, a lot of battle, like like this battle, I'll probably make like mm, depending on how many kills I get within 14 minutes here. It'll all depend, you know. Like, well, let's say I get, let's say I get maybe like 10 kills. I'll probably get maybe 10 kills. That'll be fine, but I'll only get maybe like 400, 400 points, 400 all, like me, 400 credits, you know, and then. Uh, and then to, to move up, uh, to rank, to level up, to get another, I guess, because you level up also, you rank up. So you start off at private, move up to sergeant. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's pretty neat. I mean, the sound effects, the way I can hear the sound effects are good. Uh, you might, you won't hear the sound effects unless you go on there yourself. Uh, but the sound effects are good. The sound effects are hot. Oh, the reload sounds neat. As you can see, I'm already at three kills, two deaths. But I'm a, I'm a low ranking. Uh, I'm still, I think I'm higher ranked than the other guy already. But each tank also has a has a power level, has how much armor they have, how much health they have, and how much. Uh, see, the armor base. What the armor does is is it uh it governs how much uh health how much health hp is taken every time you hit with with the with the certain with a certain uh uh bullet you know like an armor piercing bullet depending on what kind of tank it is if it's a low level tank that isn't all upgraded uh you know he might only take like maybe 30 hit points. Other guys hit you, man, they could take out like a hundred. There's a guy here who was driving like, I don't know, it was maybe like level seven or something. Or a level four. This guy, he would hit me, boom, 300, 300 health points gone. And I was like, and I was still driving the, I was still driving a little, a lower level tank. And it was like awful. I was getting just tore up. See how I only do maybe like 24 damage. Now, when you first start out, the Russian tanks are pretty OP, you know. They that T54 that I have, I have one in the garage. It's pretty OP, man. It's 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 pretty OP. I mean, look at that 59. Really? Just that guy. It's an OP tank right there, man. I like to give a shout out to these guys that I'm playing with. They don't I don't think they know they're being recorded, but uh as you can see they might be German. <laughs> I mean German, Russian. But yeah, but that guy he crept up right behind me and just just let me have it, man. He just let me, he's just giving me some some hella kills right now. And right now we're gonna kill this Russian guy. I feel like that guy from uh, Stuntman Mike. Only if this tank was moving faster, though. Huh. See, he's pretty strong, man. He's he's no he is no flake, bro. Look at that. I mean, I'm hitting him with some bullets, and I cannot. I didn't even kill him. Oh shoot. And that, I think that that's a level one tank right there. Le that's that Russian level one tank. It's that T fifty four. So my T fifty four, I put a snake skin on it because you know I'm snaking everybody. <laughs> I was gonna get a snake skin on this tank, but I gotta wait till I make more more money. I kind of spent my money on my gold. When you start out, you start off with like five hundred gold. So whatever you do, don't spend it real quick. Just pick a tank you like. Maybe try to. In order to upgrade 
in order to use your gold to upgrade, you, have, you still have to rank up. So, you know, use that lower tier tank for as long as you can. Grind with it until you get to like, you know, until you get to that once, to get to that level, you know, because you don't want to make the same mistakes I made. I, I started using that gold like super fast. You know, it was just kind of sad. <laughs> it was sad when, when I started seeing that if I just grinded it a little longer, I could have gotten a could have gotten a real good tank. But hey, you know, learn by your mistakes. This guy right here, I think this guy right here is a T54 right here. I think. Oh no, he's yeah, he is. He's the T. I think he is a T54. That tank's got some. That tank has got some power and it moves. It's a fast moving tank. So what we're doing here what we're doing here is we're kinda like patrolling this area together as a team. There's also artillery tanks here, can you believe that? So an artillery tank and I got one, it has a very di it's kinda difficult to use. You really need your team. And you really need communication. So what you gotta do is you basically gotta pick a guy on your team, follow him out, let him let him spot the enemy. And once he spots the enemy, all you gotta do is just from from wherever you're at, just fire that artillery. And uh, I'll try to I'll show it in a video in, the, in another video how that artillery tank could work. And then I'll have to find me a a willing guinea pig to to use. <laughs> not suspecting, not suspecting a guinea pig here. So what this tank, what this American tank could do is I can, I can really belt this guy in the back really hard. I just belt this guy like super hard. I just did him, did him wrong. Look at that, did him wrong. But some of the camels you gotta see. Some of the camels are off the hook. Uh, you can buy them with regular uh, credits, or you can buy them with gold currency. Uh, it's actually gold currency is faster, but it's actually a waste if you think about. Think about it, gold currency is used up all wrong. Uh, but yeah. Oops. Back. What the hell happened? Oops. Nope. <laughs> you could also take pictures on here. Right, so that was my mistake right there. Where'd my buddy go? Did he take off somewhere? There he is. How much power does he have? Doesn't really say, but this guy's pretty tough right here. So he's giving me the heads up, like, let's get out of here. But it's too late for me. I, I can't go that way. It's too slippery. Also, you have a minute or two of, uh, of, uh, of unbone. You have a second or you have a few seconds of invulnerability. Basically, you can't fire, and they can't really do any health damage to you. So, with the round ending, to end my video, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully, I was informative, and uh, we'll see you later. So, I'll just out.